Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So in this video, I'm going to go and show you step by step of how to create your own landing page for your newsletter using uh, some free products. Um, so let's start. So what is a landing page? So a landing page for your newsletter is just a simple page where it gives a reason um, and also a place for the person to submit their email to start receiving emails from you. So this here is an example of a landing page. So this is my own newsletter landing page that I have. And so it just gives a reason of why, you know, like telling them why they should subscribe, right? And giving them the option to subscribe, right? And then of course there's like some testimonials as well in my landing page, which helps with the social proof right that people like you know are enjoying it and that's another good reason why you should subscribe to the newsletter and of course feature post right so like i said in this video i want to share with you how to make a landing page for your own newsletter so let's start so one of the first things you're going to want to do is actually go and sign up for this uh, like awesome platform called card so it's it's like i think they also have a free version of the of the site but the paid version is about $19 a year, which allows you to create 10 landing pages. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. So, and what I really like about this platform is that there's a ton, a ton of templates as well, right? So as you can see here, there's a, like, you know, there's a few templates they can choose from. So for this one, we're gonna just select this one, right? For the demo here that we're gonna create. So now we have a pre-built template, right? of how to, to like a good way to start, right? To create um, our newsletter landing page. So we're gonna change some stuff here around. So we're gonna change, you know, the new view. And we're gonna pretend to make my own landing page for my own newsletter, right? So we're just gonna just copy and paste this to save you guys some time. So we're gonna go here and done, right? And then copy this and and there we go. So now we have the text done. So this is only part one here. So now we're gonna need to create a subscriber form button, right? So uh, depending on whatever ESP you have, so email service provider, if you, I recommend you always go with the Hive. It's just super easy to go and build a newsletter for free. So we're gonna create a subscriber form button inside of my Beehive account. So let's go to Beehive. We're gonna to wanna to go to settings first, and then we're gonna to go to publication, right? And then subscriber forms right here. Okay, we're gonna create new form. We're gonna call this one, the new the YouTube video, so that I know. Right, so now that we have social says you are subscribed. So this is this will show up after somebody subscribes. Okay, you are subscribed. I'm gonna change the button subscribe for free. And we're gonna have fun with it, give me your email, right? And then we're good to go and then save. So now it should have created a subscriber form. So I could create, I could use this as my default one, right? But like I said, we're gonna only want the button here, right? So we're gonna click the button, we're gonna copy the code right here, card, there we go. We're going to, Install an embedded code, right? And then we're gonna just go here and done, right? And we're gonna delete this. So I just wanna move this here. So I just wanna make sure that's all good. Go myself away, right? So now we have the code. So once we publish, it should work, right? So now that we have this, right? We have the title here, right? We have, you know, and like, Give them in like why they should subscribe right right here right and just to get their attention right here. so now that we have that you know if we want we could customize the background so you know we're gonna just customize a little bit and we're gonna change it to this one looks actually pretty fun right here and we're gonna just have a little uh like that it's actually pretty cool right right there okay so now that we have the basics here set up, we have the form signed in, right? So which when, once it goes live, we'll be able to see it. So now 
we're going to want to get the hero image, right? So to do this, you're going to want to um, have uh, like, you're going to want to use this awesome place called shots.so. So this is an awesome place to create mockups for your landing page, right? And it's free. So, so now that you like, we have a screenshot of it, right? We could change it around, right? We could change that to style, right? Change, right? Change it, play around with it. And then what I like about it, you can play with a shadow as well. Let's go with zero shadow scale position. So if you want to make it really big, right, let's have fun with it. And then we're going to want to go to frame and then transparent, right? Cause we were going to export this to upload it to our landing page here that we're creating. So now that we have everything that we need, just download. Okay. Now we have it here. So now all we got to do is upload the image, right? So we're not going to go through there. Good. Okay. So now that we have it on the desktop there, we should be good to go. Okay. So now let's just make this as big as possible. And there we go. So it doesn't look too good there. We're going to edit this. Maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, this is no bueno. Okay, awesome. So all we had to do, right, was play around with the size here, right? So let's, right, so the bigger it is, the more pixelated it gets. So let's leave it like that. It looks pretty good like that. And we're going to click done. So now we have the hero image. Right, and it's nice and transparent because we exported it right uh, with transparent, so that's why I downloaded it perfectly how we wanted it to. Right, and it got cut off because uh, we exported it from shots. So now that we have you know the basics here already good to go, let's add some testimonials. Now, right, so testimonials are really awesome, and an awesome free tool I like to use is called Senja. Right, we're gonna just click here. We're going to log in. We're gonna log in. Okay, awesome. So here, as you see, I have a few testimonials for my newsletter, right? Which I added right here. So what we're going to do is just go into, just gonna click one here, right? We're gonna share this one, and we're gonna add, create a widget, right? So the newsy widgets and we're going to add this into our home page or landing page there we go so now we have the option so we're going to continue to design right let's go with this one right that's the one that we want right and then save changes or we could go with this one actually there we go let's go save changes let's share this right we're going to copy this code and we're gonna just add it onto our landing page, right? So we're gonna call this type of value and done. We're gonna create, let's see what other creators are saying. And we're just gonna delete this, we don't need this. Okay, so now we pretty much have like three rows here that we can use without having to do anything really to it. So what we need to do is add an embedded as can. And for some reason, it did not do. There we go. Okay. And let's just copy this one. Duplicate. Just copy it here. And duplicate again. There we go. And we'll delete these images. We don't need these. Don't need this. And don't need this. Okay. And this is... We won't really need that stuff as well. So let's get the code again. Copy and paste. All right, then copy. Now I'm not sure how it's going to look. Like it's probably going to look a little bit squished. So, but we could fix that once we see the finale. Okay, so we don't need this because it's going to be it's already a widget. So we don't need to. And, and delete, and delete, beautiful, right? And you know what? We could like give them the option to subscribe again here. So we'll duplicate it, we'll go down here, 
and delete this one, right? So now we're giving the option to subscribe, right? And then we're gonna just delete this whole case here. Okay, we don't wanna delete too much of it. Okay, there we go. Delete, no, right? Delete, no. Just delete everything. Okay, so now that we have it, pretty much, almost deleted everything. Right, we don't really need this. We have to remove this. There we go. We can really keep that divider there. Okay, so now we have it, right? So we have the header, the title, right? The hero image, the subscriber form, right? Testimonials added, right? On our subscriber form, just in case now they really want to subscribe because they saw testimonials, right? And here we could just delete this one actually too. Delete this and this. There we go. So now we could just play around with this. We'll call it like music 24, right? And so if I had, you know, if I had like links to it, I could just quickly add the links here, right? So I can, I can make it clickable. But a newsletter landing page should be focused on, you know, getting people to enter their email, right? Not being, not entering, not having to visit your socials, right? So try to avoid that as much as possible. It just default, right? So there we go. So there we go. So as you see here, right? I don't have any socials on my landing page, right? Because I want them focused on entering their email. That's what I want. I want their email. And so that's what we're doing right here. So now that we have it pretty much all done and complete, let's go on publish site right, to see how it looks. So we're gonna need to enter the newly uh, test, right? We're just gonna copy this. So this is here, description. Right, and then the newsy. Hopefully it works. Awesome, it's available. So now we're gonna see it live. And there we go. So as you see, you know, there's some changes here that we can do with the give me your email, right? It's probably too too large there, right? But it looks pretty good, right? And then see what other creators and look how beautiful that looks. Right? Like the widgets actually look really, really cool. Right. Then again, right, they can do their email right here. And then that's pretty much it, right? So we're all good to go. And so that's a quick way to create a simple, you know, landing page, um, almost for free. Uh, like I'm pretty sure card has a free option. If it doesn't, it's only $20 a year. You get like 10 landing pages. And then you get to use free tools like Beehive, right? To create your subscriber form, right? You can use Shots, right? To create your hero image. And you can use Sanja for your testimonials to collect testimonials. Right, and as you can see, it looks really, really beautiful. Um, this landing page and it's super simple, quickly, and we were able to build this in less than like twenty minutes. So, um, if you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below. You know, just uh, just write them down. And I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.